Here we go. Mathematician, astronomer, and um, it was um, it was Bennett Smith. Okay. An inventor, Benjamin Banneker, was best known as a surveyor of which American city? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is correct. This poet published the first book of poetry, this is a bonus question, excuse me, poetry by an African-American woman in America. For 10 points each, what is the author's name and what was the title of that book? This goes to Roy and Tigers. Um, Phyllis Wheatley and um, poems on various subjects, religious and morals. You've answered correctly for both. Out of Phyllis Wheatley and points on various subjects, religions and morals. Toss-up question number two. World-renowned poet Nikki Giovanni has received over 25 honorary degrees and even has a bat species named after her. During the 1960s, she was also known as what? The poet Laurie? Correct. Princess of Black Poetry? Correct. So this goes to the leopard. Bonus question. Charlie Parker played saxophone with Dizzy Gillette. Dizzy Gillespie, excuse me, and played a jazz style known as bebop for 10 points each. Number one, what was his nickname? And two, what was the name of the famous nightclub in New York named for him? Answer is bird and bird land. Toss up question number three. This year marks the 50th anniversary. Incorrect. Incorrect. 50th anniversary of the Selma Montgomery March that started out as a protest for voting rights for all U.S. citizens. As a result, what was successfully passed in 19. American Civil Rights? 1965. Five seconds. Voting Rights Act. Now, question. Toss up question number four. What Alabama Native American? Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens is correct. Bonus question for the Pumas. She grew up to make national headlines by challenging the seating of all white, excuse me, of the all white Mississippi delegation to the Democratic National Convention in Atlantic City. For 10 points each, number one, who is she? And two, what campaign did she organize for the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee? You did receive the first one, Fanny Blue Hammer is correct. However, the second part is Mississippi Freedom Summer. Top of question number five. He created an automatic um, Elijah McCoy. Elijah McCoy is correct. <laughs> Bonus <laughs> question number five. This leader spent years fighting for African American civil rights, women's issues, and economic well being. She also helped de desegregate the YWCA. For 10 points each, number one. Who is she? And two, what organization was she president for 40 years? Dorothy Height and um, Alabama. Uh, Alabama. 
so. Dorothy Height is correct. However, the second part is National Council of Negro Women. Rotate. Rotate. Welcome to group. All right, here we go. Toss-up question number six. This African American was the first woman basketball player. Candace Parker. Candace Parker is correct. Yes. And for the sake of it, I will finish reading. In NCAA history, to dunk a basketball twice in a tournament game on March 19, 2006. Bonus question to the Panthers. The civil rights icon established a memorial in memory of her husband, who she met while in college. She was sought after as a public speaker for 10 points each. Who is she and two, where did she attend school? Um, she is Coretta Scott King. Coretta Scott King is correct and since you didn't answer the second part, I'll give you the answer. It, I mean, it doesn't count, but it's New England Conservatory of Music. Toss up question number seven. In 1974, this boxer, civil. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is correct. I'll finish reading. Civil rights activist and humanitarian became the undisputed heavyweight champion by defending, defeating excuse me, Joe Frazier in January and George Foreman in October. <coughs> bonus question number seven for the Leopards. For 10 points, Black History Month began as an effort by, number one, what African American historian to recognize the valuable contributions African Americans made in the U.S. and throughout the world? Um, the first one is I'm sorry, and that was my, I read it wrong, type of, Carter G. Woodson is correct. Toss up question number eight. He was a successful trader and entrepreneur. One typers. Jean-Baptiste Du Sabou. Correct. I'll continue to read. Who laid the foundation for one of the largest and most important cities in the world, Chicago. Bonus question four for in Tigers. For ten points. Louis Latimer was a pioneer in the development of the electric light bulb. He was given credit for improving what material used in the light bulbs? The carbon filament. Correct. Toss up question number nine. This neurosurgeon and professor. He is Ben Carter. Ben Carson is correct, and I'll continue. And Professor led a medical team that became the first to separate Siamese twins successfully. Bonus question for Panthers. The celebrated singer was the first African American to ever open a Metropolitan Opera season for 10 points each. Who is she, and which U.S. President awarded her the National Medal of Arts in 1985? She is Marianne Anderson, and... Woodrow Wilson awarded her. You do have the first answer right. Marian Anderson is correct. However, the president was President Ronald Reagan. Class question number 10. Sojourner Truth wrote a book that was published in 1850. She was a great public speaker, although she was illiterate. What was her real name? Isabella Bumfrey. Isabella. Cosmic Cats. I was going to say that. What are you going to say? Isabella Bumfrey. Isabella Bumfrey is correct. This goes to the Cosmic Cats. This Academy Award nominated actress was the first African American to star in her own TV sitcom, a situation comedy. For 10 points each, who is she? And number two, what was the name of the show? Anna Carroll and Julia. Diane, Diane Carroll and Julia are correct. Rotate. <laughs> Question number 11. This 
African American singer, composer, and music. Stevie Wonder. And musician. His real name is Steveland Morris. He sang his version of Happy Birthday as a tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King in an effort to have his birthday declared a national holiday. Stevie Wonder is correct. Here is the bonus question for the Warren Tigers. This track and field star grew up in Willing, Willingboro, New Jersey. He won 10 Olympic medals and 10 World Championship medals. For 10 points each, who is this athlete and in which sport or sports did he participate? Um, participated in long jump and the hurdles. The first is Carl Lewis, and you did get points for the second. It was long jump, sprint, or if you had said both. Toss up question 12. He was the first jockey of Isaac Murphy. Isaac Murphy is correct. Of any race to win the Kentucky Derby three times. Bonus question goes to the Leopards. On April 8, 1974, this African American hit his 715th home run, which broke Babe Ruth's record of 714 home runs. Who is he? Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron is correct. Toss up question 13. This African American's lecture to the New England anti. Uh, is it Augusta? No, no. Augusta. And we go on. Correct. New England. Maria Miller Stewart. Maria Miller Stewart is correct. I'll continue to read. Anti Slavery Society of September 21st, 1832, was the first public lecture by an American born woman before an audience of men and women. Here is the bonus question to the Cosmic Cats. In 1893, he performed the first successful open heart surgery. He also founded a successful hospital in Chicago. For 10 points each, who is this famous cardiologist and what is the name of the hospital? Daniel Hill Williams and... Providence Hospital? You are correct for both. It is Daniel Hill Williams and Providence Hospital. Time for question 14. This African-American was not only one of the earliest African-American Harvard graduates, but is also recognized as the inventor... Dr. George F. Grant. Dr. George F. Grant is correct, inventor of the golf tee. Bonus question goes to the Cosmic Cats. This leader was a close associate of Dr. Martin Luther King. He founded Operation Push and the Rainbow Coalition. He also ran for President of the United States. For 10 points each, one, who is he, and what years did he run for president? Jesse Jackson in 1984 and 1988. Absolutely correct. Jesse Jackson, 1984 and 1988. Toss-up question number 15. He was the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review. Barack Obama. President Barack Obama is correct. Bonus question goes to the lepers. President Obama won a Grammy Award in what category and for what critically acclaimed book? Uh, he won it in poetry and it was The Dreams of My Father. The first is not correct. The first is Best Spoken Word Album and you did get the last correct Dreams from My Father. Rotate. <laughs> Toss up question number 16. This leader worked in the literacy program under Ella Baker. Ella Baker is correct. I'll continue to read. 
under President Franklin Roosevelt's Work Progress Administration as Secretary for the NAACP and Acting Director of the Southern Leadership Conference. Bonus question goes to the Leopard. This leader worked with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and was convinced that he could change the injustice in America without violence. For 10 points each, number one, who is this former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations? And two, what city was he mayor? Um, he was Andrew Young, and he was former mayor of Atlanta, Georgia. You are absolutely correct. Andrew John Young and Atlanta, Georgia. <coughs> Toss up question number 17. He was the first African American to earn a PhD. Oh, is it me? Oh, W.E.B. Du Bois. Correct. Harvard University. He has been called the most important leader during the first half of the 20th century. Bonus question for the Cosmic Cats. For 10 points, this United States Air Force officer became the first African American officer in history to be made a major general. Benjamin O. Davis Jr. Correct. Benjamin O. Davis Jr. Toss up question number 18. She served as, as the nation's poet. Rita Dove. Rita Dove is correct. Laureate for, from 1993 to 1995. She also won a Pulitzer Prize for a collection of her poems published in 1986. Only the second African American poet to win that prize. Bonus question for the Leopards. He invented the air cooling unit used in food trans transporting trucks in the 1930s, and he was awarded more than 60 patents over the course of his life. 40 of which involve refrigeration equipment. Who is he? Frederick McKinley Jones. Frederick McKinley Jones is correct. <coughs> Toss up question number 19. This African American was a Rhodes Scholar. Elaine Locke. Elaine Locke is, or Elaine Locke is correct. Dismiss the belief of many white American scholars who believe that African Americans were intellectually inferior. Bonus question for the Cosmic Cats. Garrett A. Morgan invented a smoke hood in 1916 that he used to rescue several men trapped by an explosion in tunnels under Lake Erie. For 10 points each, this invention was later refined by the U.S. Army into, one, what equipment used to protect soldiers from chlorine fumes, and two, during which war was this used? Gas mask and World War I. Correct. Gas mask and oil. Toss up question number 20. In 1940, this African American was appointed president of North Benjamin Mays. Benjamin Mays is correct. Bonus question for Lepers. Legendary baseball player Satchel Page would travel as many as 30,000 miles a year to pitch as a free agent for 10 points each. When baseball season was over in the U.S., um, in the U.S., what two countries would he travel to pitch during the winter? Mexico and um, Dominican Republic. Correct. Dominican Republic and Mexico. <coughs> we are now at the sudden death round. There will be no bonus questions. Yes. And the great answers here are worth 20 points each. This librarian was a Augusta Braxton Baker. Yes. <laughs> this librarian was upset by the representation of black characters in the books <coughs> available to African American children in 1939. She collected a number of books that provided African American role models and presented an accurate view of African American life to young people. You. <coughs> Next question. He designed the concept of a movable school. George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver is correct. I'll complete that question. Movable school with teachers and equipment traveling to remote areas to instruct poor in agriculture and nutrition. This concept was later adopted in underdeveloped areas around the world. Concept question number 23. He became the governor of Massachusetts. Neville Patrick. Deval Patrick. 
Patrick is correct. Massachusetts on January 4th, 2007, he is the, he is only the second African American governor since Reconstruction. Question 24. Gordon Park was the first African American. Life Magazine. Incorrect. Incorrect. African American film director that directed a film for a major studio, Warner Brothers, in 1969. Learning Tree. Learning Tree is the correct answer. It was based on his first book, which, which was titled The Learning Tree. Toss up question 25. This author was once called the Port, Port Laureate of, Negro, of the Negro Race. Yes, Paul Lawrence Dunbar. This author taught himself to read William Wallace. Read and write. He became the first African American travel writer. Yes, it is William Wells Brown. More than 20 of these individuals Buffalo Soldiers. Buffalo Soldiers is correct. Received the highest medal of honor for their service. The highest number of any U.S. military unit. The oldest living member Mark Matthews died at the age of 111 in 2005. How's up question number 28? In 1770, Crispus Attucks? Crispus Attucks, which is correct. He became the first casualty of the American Revolution when he was shot and killed in what became known as the Boston Massacre. Question 29. He first calculated the... Benjamin Bay. Is not correct. He first. Oh, Walter S. McAfee. Walter S. McAfee is correct. Calculated the speed of, of the moon, excuse me, on January 10th, 1946, a radar pulse was transmitted toward the moon. Two and a half seconds later, they received a faint signal providing, excuse me, proving that transmission from Earth could cross the vast distances of outer space. Toss of question 30. A.W. Martin invented the door lock. Invented the door lock. Correct. 